Hi. Well, this has been the most commonly asked question for me. How do I record my surgical videos? I don't have any financial interest in any other products which are going to be presented in this video. Today I'll be sharing on how to get the finest image quality in your surgical videos by using a DSLR like camera which also records in 4K and full HD. It all started in 2014 when I decided to upgrade my surgical video camera from a standard definition C mount camera to a high definition camera and I was probably considering upgrading to a 4K as well because definitely the resolution bandwidth we have is significantly higher. Little bit of a research showed me two options, Ikagami 500 and the Sony, both were pretty expensive. They were three cheap uh, full HD cameras and I had a demo of the Sony unit. It was good but it was not overwhelming and uh, definitely I did not find it to be worthy of the price. I continued my quest and I was considering recording using a DSLR because I was using it for my sit lamp photography. I went ahead and bought a Panasonic GH4 camera which was recording in 4K and Full HD and I got an adapter made locally by uh, 3D Medicis and then I began to use the system by attaching it to my Lumera eye microscope. The image quality was decent enough, it was definitely better than what I was getting before but there are some issues with this system because this camera was not so good in slightly lower illumination levels so my quest was continuing to get an adapter for a better camera thankfully by 2016 August things fell into place and I could get a, a decent adapter for a better camera uh, for the starters let us go back and know the things which we require to setting up the system Apart from the microscope, we require a beam splitter, a DSLR adapter, a T2 adapter for the camera and finally the camera itself. We all should know that the beam splitter comes in various permutations, 50s to 50 or 80s to 20. That is, mine is 80 is to 20 weight, 80% 80 of the light goes into the surgeon and 20% of the light goes to the side tubes. This is a DSLR adapter which I got it from Zeiss and in between the adapter, DSLR adapter and the camera we need to have another accessory called as the T2 adapter for the Sony E-mount which I googled it out and found out at the Amazon uh, India and bought it. And finally the camera itself. So this is how the entire system looks like. This is how it's going to be fixed into the beam splitter. Well, the struggle for me has been really to find the right adapter for this, uh, which is the most important component I feel. Zeiss has it but never markets it. Many of its executives are not even aware of its uh, existence. The traditionally, it has always been thought that it has to be given only for taking still photographs with the Canon EOS DSLRs. But the basic point here is that the focal length of the glass which is there inside this adapter that is 340mm has to match the sensor size of the camera. And by trial and error I found out that this focal length matches the full frame sized cameras and not the APS-C cameras because the image gets significantly cropped. So if you have a full frame camera it, it fits into this pretty well. Then we need to get hold of the camera itself. and. Sony A7S II is a full frame uh, mirrorless DSLR camera which records 4K internally. The highlight about this is it has got an excellent low light performance apart from giving a clean HDMI out. This camera comes with certain irritants like it has got an extremely poor battery life and it has got a very flimsy micro HDMI port. We need to work around it by using an USB charger or a continuous power supply and multiple batteries. These are the camera settings which I have found it to be uh, quite satisfactory for recording the video. Now how do we record? The advantage of this DSLRs is that we can also record internally using inexpensive SD cards. We can record 4K or Full HD internally in a compressed format 
or record externally using an HDMI the cable. So I usually record in both in camera and also externally. Uh, this is an external record, a small device designed by a company called as Black Magic. This device is connected to my laptop and I'll be using a better codec to record and the, all the footage is stored in an external hard drive. This system helps me to archive the patient's data in a much more better way. We can store it individual videos by the patient's names. And finally, the HDMI cable goes out from the HDMI port of the device and connects it to my 4K monitor which is hung at the wall. Typically in our operation theater, the display monitor is hung at the foot end of the operation table. The idea is that the assistants can guide the surgeon and let him or her know whether the focus and the centering is right or not. Having done all the hard work now, let's look at how the video really looks like. Well, you can all have your own independent judgment and you have a, and assess the quality of the video. In my personal opinion, we have been using many systems and among the systems which we have used and in our experience, we have found that this is the sharpest video quality which we have been able to achieve when we compare it to the previous versions which we have. What ensures a great image quality? Let me clarify certain common misconceptions, the most common being camera alone is responsible for great images. Well, there are multiple elements involved here, starting from a good microscope to the beam splitter, adapter and finally the camera. There are glass elements which are present in the beam splitter and the adapter and the quality of the glass ultimately decides the sharpness of the image which is going to be formed on the camera. Just like the human eye, all the optical elements have to be fine to have a great image on the retina. And finally coming to the worthy debate of 4K, do we really need it? Especially in majority of the conferences in India and abroad don't even provide full HD projectors. Well, the argument against it would be that my point of view is that I am documenting my work and I would want to document in the highest possible resolution which is currently available. It's a form of future proofing our work. Finally, to conclude, uh, although we have very good options in the C-mount cameras, the traditional cameras, modern day DSLRs give us a great opportunity to record in the highest possible resolution uh, in a much more economical way. And for the Zeiss users, you already have an existing SLR adapter available in the portfolio. I would advise them to go for that instead of the C-mount lens. Even similar advice for surgeons using other brands, ask for native DSLR adapters since they may have better glass elements. If you don't find them, then there are many third-party vendors in India and you can Google it and find out in the, across the world. And hopefully this video has shared some valuable information with you and you find it helpful. Wishing you all the best for your venture in building your own uh, surgical video recording system.